elements as dick mentioned the quad all important but you don't have to try it here at this level though many skaters are including weiss and gable and taking the ice first here in the men's short program another man who plans the quad here in the short 20 year old takeshi honda the four-time national champion of japan made a big jump last season a really good year in terms of the world championships was 10th in 2000 but placed in the top five last season in Vancouver. Now remember the music for this is sing 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 Louis Prima and as he says it it's feet with a mind of their own. combination that was not a bad way to start the short program two minutes and 40 seconds in length and for the men it's worth one third of the overall score Fred Eagle into a triple axle ah. if you notice the spread Eagle was rather uneven and that caused him to lean on the uh, triple axle Usually he does that like a breeze. This is a sit, change, sit, spin. Must have one change of foot. And there must be a minimum number of revolutions on each foot for a total of 12. And his next move must have certain unifying dance steps, other moves leading into this move, the triple lutz. Ah, well that, I mean that just takes care of him in this uh, particular competition. And that's, that's a hard mistake to have. It looked like it hurt. We got a few moments to get back together. And remember the altitude here, over 6,000 feet. Well, I don't think that's the altitude. <laughs> Not the fall, that, that no. particular one. Everybody says the ice is bad, and that's why they fell, but somehow the ice is always bad on the triple axle or the triple lutz. <laughs> Nickel, the uh, choreographer who worked so long with, with Michelle Kwan in this program. Works now with Timothy Gable. The final move, circular footwork. Nice music, nice musical interpretation. You know, I really like that. I, I think he's come an awfully long way. I mean, he's just projecting much more. He's got a, a lot of splash in his, uh, you know, in his personality, and it's looking a lot better. It's not serious the way it was before. And, you know, that straight face coming out and, and the, the lack of impact. I think this is really very good. One tough mistake, but uh, he came back from that with a lot of energy. He had a great finish to last season. Takeshi Honda getting this season underway here in Colorado Springs. Now look at this entrance into his quadruple toe loop. Did you see how tight the legs were and how close they were and how straight up they seem to be uh, into the body? And this triple axle is spreading. Is he right? There? That's not a very good spread point of view. And he stepped up into it, but the balance wasn't there. He needed more front to it. And there's a look at the panel of seven judges working this event here in the short program. What about the deductions, Dick? Well, they're very explicit, and there are a lot of them. Remember, the fall on a jump causes a .4 deduction. Stepping out of a landing of a jump, .3, and a two-footed jump anywhere from .2 to .4. Takeshi, of course, coached by Doug Lee, who used to coach Elvis Stoiko and Brian Orser. Two sets of marks, as always. The first four required elements here in the short. The 5.0, 5.1 range. And now his marks for presentation. Five point now that's four, a lot better, this mark. Six, presentation marks five here, yeah. 5.3 up to 5.6. Five five the 5.6, well, from the five Japanese judge. Three. 
But the well, presentation much better than the required elements. There's no harm in giving your own countrymen the best mark, is it? When we come back, he had a great season last year.